I think it's really, really important that you make good impressions and if you decide that you're going to go out there and smash whatever opportunity you've been given, you need to make sure that every person you meet gets the best impression of you straight away. So, I think um, it's important that you look at your clothing. So hence the shirt today. <laughs> um, I think it's massive, massive um, deal to dress to impress. When you go to meet someone for the first time, you need to make sure that you're dressing appropriately for the occasion. And if you're, for example, going to the gym, wear your nice gym clothes. Don't wear things with holes in. Don't wear things that aren't very nice and have got a bit tired and tatty. Because if you're part of a company that's with health and wellness or you know, you're trying to represent the type of person you are, you don't want to look like a scruff. <laughs> Putting it simply, you want to look nice so people go, oh, I like that. And they might have a conversation with you, like, I like your trainers, where are they from? Or, you always look really good, I always like the tops that you wear when you come in here. You want to be able to have that conversation with them. Also, when you meet someone for the first time, you don't want to look like you've literally just been dragged out of bed. Um, you want to look representable of the company that you're representing presenting. Don't just pick anything out the wardrobe just to shove it on because you're a bit late. Think about it because when you get to see that person, they're going to make an impression from you. And if they think you look like a manager and if they think that you, that you look good, they're going to have a bit more trust and you're going to have a bit more credibility in you to say, do you know what? I, I trust what they're saying because they look the part. Whereas if you're set talking about an incredible company and don't look very nice and you've kind of not really made an effort to speak to them about the business, they're not going to really find you very credible because they're going to think, are you really doing that well? Because you don't look like you're doing that well. Um, so it's, it's not about, you know, spending loads of money on things. You can literally buy clothes from anywhere. I got a really, really nice top, a nice shirt. That's like three pound so it do, you don't have to spend lots of money, but it's important that you look the part. Um, it's not it's not a big thing about buying brands or anything like that. It's just about looking clean and looking representable. So, for example, if you are at the gym, you want to look the part. You want people to be able to approach you and you know think they always look really smart when they come in. They don't look like a scruff. They're not wearing a, a shirt that's got a hole in and things like that. Um, you want to be able to approach people and have that conversation and you can approach other people saying, look, I, I, I always like your tops, like where do you get them from? And that's going to open up an opportunity to create a relationship. I think it's so important that you guys go out there and make the best first impression because people will judge you and if you, they see you and you're not on your top form and not looking your best, then that's going to come across and it's important that you don't have um, things around you that are going to deter people from you. So, for example, don't have any slogans or things that might be offensive. So, don't wear things that are going to be offensive to other people. Um, I wouldn't necessarily have have things that maybe sayings that might be political uh, political because I don't want to deter someone because they're not part of the same political party. Um, just try and keep it so it's clean and think about what your um, developer, area developers would think, what your um, main business guy in the company would think or woman, what would they say about you and would they be proud that you're part of their company because if they wouldn't then maybe you need to think about the things that you're doing but also what position do you want within the business, what position do you want within your company because if you want a better position or you want a promotion or you want something a little bit better than what you've got now, you've got to step up your game. So you have to look the part. You, there is, If you want to be a manager and you're only an assistant supervisor or however it works in whatever company, if you're dressing like an assistant supervisor, you're going to stay an assistant supervisor. You need to up your game and start dressing like a manager and that position will soon come along because you're going to start attracting people to you that are going to create you and manage a business. So it's important that you look ahead and think, you know, what events have I got going? Have I got the right sorts of clothes for that? Yes, I do. I'm going to wear them. Um, don't be afraid to kind of wear a blazer and things like that. And also, like, make it a bit more fun. Like, you don't have to be, like, a proper business person where they wear a shirt and a really tight skirt or 
Like, you don't have to think like that. Just a bit more fun, but smart. That's how I think. Clean and smart. Um, and especially when you're out and about. It might be with your children. It might be with friends. You want to look the part wherever you go. So make sure that you look nice and that people go, I wonder what it is that they do. Like, I, I wonder... I wonder what business they do because I'd love to find out more just try and make a little bit more effort and yes if you are in a playground obviously you're not going to be in heels and a shirt but you're going to look smart your hair's going to be brushed your makeup's going to be on and um, you're not going to look tired your handbag isn't going to look like it's been through the woods and back you're going to look smart so people say to you you know look this is this is something that I do um, and they're gonna think yeah I don't I always think you look really nice every morning like so it's about showing them that you have time to get ready in the morning that you're not rushing around your life you want to attract people to your life and it's so important that you show people that so go out there and when you when you're meeting a business person look more like that if you're meeting mums look like that be smart always wear makeup and make an effort <laughs> And it's every single time I see somebody, for example, if they were coming to a meeting with me and I think they look a bit tired, I'm going to say that to them and say, you look really tired. And if I can notice that, so can other people. So try and make sure that you're looking after yourself. So eat the right foods because if you are tired, that's going to show to other people. And people don't want to join someone who's tired. People don't want to be a part of the business if you're going to be knackered. So make sure that you're eating the right foods, make sure you're getting that rest and show people what it's all about. Like have fun, you want to be that person. If you are a mom, you want to be the person on the playground going, bye, like really happy, really excited, saying hello to everyone, hi, like, and they'll say to you, you're always a happy person on this playground. What are you doing? I am knackered. And they're going to be able to have that conversation with you. So just think about how you represent yourself. What sort of pens you use. I know that sometimes it might be a little bit far-fetched. But if you're going to meet someone slightly... I always say rate yourself. So where do you rate yourself from 0 to 10? Um, on approachability, on business and everything like that. So say I rate myself on a six, I think I'm quite good, I'm not too shabby, but I'm also not peak. I would hate to meet someone at 10 because that would really scare me. But you want to attract someone better than you. So if I'm going around with a big pen and that's been chewed and half a few bits of pieces of paper, that's not going to look representable of what I want to be. Whereas if I go with a clipboard or a notebook that looks really nice and a nice um, pen, it doesn't have to be expensive, it just doesn't have to be chewed. Um, I'm going to look a little bit more representable than a, I'm faffing and I chew things and, you know, so just think about what you represent and what you want to be because if you want to be better, you have to raise your game and raise your standards. Um, don't feel like on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning you can't have, you know, a bit of a relax in your pyjamas all day. That's fine. No one's going to see you. But when you're putting yourself in front of people, represent the business, represent what you want to become because people will start to notice and they'll start to say, oh, they always look nice. So it's always good to just look nice, just wear clean clothes, wear something that makes you look clean. Um, white's always good if it's washed. <laughs> um, and just make sure that, you know, you're, you're looking the part because no one wants to be a part of something that you look scruffy. Um, the same with big events. If you're going to big events, look nice. Don't go in Uggs, trainers and jeans. <laughs> Like, look nice, make the effort, because when you get there, um, other people are going to see you, but social media is going to see you. There's going to be so, you know, there's going to be pictures taken at an event. So make sure that you look the part, because people want to say, wow, where did they go to? That event looks amazing. Not, wow, they look like they were going to the cinema. They want to look at you and go, they look amazing. I'm like, I want to know what they were doing, because I want to go to events like that. So um, it's important that you go out there, look the best, and... Hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'm just going to read this comment. I work with hundreds of firefighters on a weekly basis. How do I make that impression? Um, it's just an in-between, so out and day in, day out. Just making sure that you look the best. Like, 
you can have your hair clean you can wear um if you even if you wear makeup or don't wear makeup you can look smart when you're out when you're leaving do you have a nice coat like it's as simple as that um don't feel like they hate you then no nobody hates you that's something something in yourself that you need to create belief within yourself um so i would definitely work on personal development um and just looking like nails like like make sure that your nails are clean make sure that you look smart um eyebrows my eyebrows are terrible um so but just look nice make sure that you brush your teeth um so that your breath is nice and fresh do you know it's just about looking squeaky clean um so that people have more credibility in you and that trust what you're saying and then you're going to create relationships with people because they're going to like the first impressions of you. So if you've enjoyed this video or on the replay or on YouTube, make sure you've tapped the screen um, and give me lots of feedback. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter at Real Hannah Godfrey.